Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have taken out my four braids that look like two, and this is what my hair looks like. I need to wash it. Um, yeah, this is filthy as you can see. There's like crud and everything. Oh my goodness. Like, yeah, this definitely needs to be washed. I don't know how I kept them in that long. It was only two weeks, but, mm, I mean, this would look kind of cute if it was clean, but it smells, and, yeah, it just needs to get washed. So, let me go ahead and do that. So, here I am, nice and washed. Next, I'm going to detangle my hair. And yes, I am using a wide tooth comb. Um, this is just the easiest way to detangle my hair quickly. So after getting out the pesky couple of knots that was in this area, um, I go back to my combing. And then I am going to figure out what I'll do next with it. But for now, let's just comb it, detangle, and get it nice and moisturized. So here I am all detangled and here is sectioned off. I'm going to get each section um, greased and oiled up and um, heat um, protectant and then I'm going to get a little um, blow dry so here it is all blow dried BAM yeah okay so here I am all blow dried I did not blow dry it straight just blow dry it out to get it dry so this is my hair I like my hair it's so fluffy A little length check here I wish I could show you how long it is in the back it all actually comes almost to um, tailbone length waist bone it's like in between there um, but yeah just going through and doing a little length check I mean I know where my hair last was so it's easy for me to know how much growth I've had or not had but yeah this is my hair so now I'm going to go ahead and get this into two strand twists. So here's my two strand twist. So I just followed the easiest method um, for two strand twisting my entire head. You follow whichever method is easiest for you. Whether you want to do braids, little box braids or um, two strand twists like I did. Um, but I have my whole head in two strand twists. And now I will show you... Um, what hair I use so here is the hair that I used um, it was the Lulu Tress in wave pattern and I have my crochet wand but this is the hair texture up close I did get two packs of the three bundle um, hair so I'm going to use about three to four pieces or strands her twist because I want these to be kind of like a medium um, chunky size so I'm going to stretch out each one of those strands just to get that like dready look and then I'm going to leave some sections of it um, in the controlled wave texture that is in um, just to get the distressed look that I am going for Okay, so I have my hair all together. I'm going to show you um, one piece in the front. I'm tying my hair back, but I'm going to stick my crochet needle under my hair. Put the three strands on, lock it through, pull it through, and then I'm going to measure how long my hair is. I didn't tie it in a knot or anything. And then I'm going to wrap it around the base of my hair. Wrap one side around the base of my hair three to four times to tighten it up. And then loosely wrap it all the way down the length of my I can feel your heart 
I could have done this one a little bit better so that it didn't look like a twist, but there is my hair. So I'm going to add another strand, just one strand, after I stretch it out. I'm going to add another strand to it just to cover my hair. And when I get to the end, I'm going to tie the hair in a knot. Um, and then I will twist it back up itself and twist it around like you do locks. But just showing you... Um, my hair I had to go all the way down the length and I'm tying that knot that I was telling you about I pull that hair all the way through and then I take that hair and twist it right on back up the same lock and you know I'll show you again later in the video but I'm just gonna twist this hair up just to give it that lock feel and then I'm gonna rub my hands together just to lock it in place because the hair texture that this is will lock into itself easily so I'm gonna be honest I've been working on this crap for about four hours now I got a lot of hair and I'm, I'm I was starting to get a little irritated but I came through y'all I came through I'm liking this texture I'm liking the distressed look of it um, I'm liking how realistic the ends look with the the knot being at the end and then twisting it back up and stuff but y'all it's cute but I still got all this to do. It's still like 12 or 13 twists. I ain't, I ain't got the time. I don't feel like it. I'm tired. I'm hungry. But we're going to hold through. We're going to get it done. I got things to do. My hands hurt, but we're going to get it. So I'm showing you up close again how I did it. I'm going to take it and under under link the crochet one underneath my twist put my hair onto it onto the one and then I'm going to flip that piece up to lock the hair on pull it through and then take one of the sides and wrap it around the base of my hair three to four times just to secure it um, at the base and then I will wrap that piece that I wrapped around the base to um, loosely around the length of my hair just to cover the hair but this is how I did that up close and I did not speed this up just so you can see the detail and you can see how doggone long this thing took me but it looks cute when it's done so I held on to it. I mean, there's so many videos saying how fast it is and how quick it is and how this it is and how that it is. I figured I could just be honest and let you know if you have length to your hair and this is the size that you want, it takes a little bit longer than what people are saying. And it may take a little longer just in general because you have to individual box braid twist your whole head and then add the hair to it. But this took me forever, it felt like. So with this method, instead of adding the extra hair, I took the hair that was at the bottom and added that to the twisting that I was already doing and wrapped that down the remaining part of um, the remaining length of my hair and did the same knot at the bottom and twisted it back up itself and that still looked cute too. So you can add extra hair to the bottom or you can take extra hair away like you would do if you're braiding, um, but it still looked cute either way. So as you can see, I showed you the end, you can still see some of my hair at the bottom. I took the remaining hair that was left at the bottom and continued to wrap it all the way down to the bottom. Um, and I believe I said that I tied it in a knot at the end. Um, I tied it in a tiny knot like into itself and then I twisted it back up and it looked thinner at the base but it still looked realistic. So I went with it so a couple of my hair strands have that in the bottom and then a couple of them have the big knot in the bottom. Um, these are distressed butterfly locks so it goes with the look.
And y'all, I'm in no way a cosmetologist. I'm not a licensed cosmetologist. I don't do hair. I don't do none of that. Um, but I will save a dollar and I will do my own hair if need be. So this is my whole head that I finally finished. Um, it took me roughly about three hours, three or four hours just to put the extra hair in. But as you all know, I have a lot of hair. But I really like this outcome I like how this all comes together I'll be able to put it up in a ponytail I'll be able to you know do the bun on top um, it's really lightweight which is good for me since I am migraine prone so I think I will have this for quite some time and then the length is really nice as well so yeah I like this I like this I like this I really like this but um, let's see if I can judge this up a little bit. Y'all think I can judge it up? You do? Think so? Let's see. Let me see if I can get cute. So just to show you all of the hair and how it looks all together as a whole, how it swings. This is it and it is it. I likes this look. I think I know just the thing to pull this together for the day. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Bam! This is the look. I love these lashes, y'all. This was really simple, just really simple pull together. But I think it looks cute. I think it looks cute. I think I'm ready for a party. I'm ready for a party. But this is my video. Thank you for watching. I know. Thank you for watching. Please, 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 please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos like this. Bye.